Hello, my fans! And I don't mean the ceiling fan, I mean you! That's awkward. It's been a while since I've done the YouTube Sensation videos, and I'm getting right back on target because I am going to become a YouTube Sensation. I am. Video number three is um, ranting. I'm not quite sure what a rant is. I was thinking a rant is something that you talk about a lot. Most of the times, the things that you hate. What I'm going to rant about is uh, Facebook. How Facebook is so overrated. Now, starting it off, drum roll, please. Statuses. This is what Facebook is mostly known for. Posting statuses. What's on your mind? Well, <laughs> A lot of times, you shouldn't put what's on your mind. A lot of people post a lot of crap. Some statuses that I read, and it's mostly from the same person over and over and over again, it's about, they're just complaining. They're complaining about life, you know, oh, what, what sucked today? Oh, let me tell you what sucked um, yesterday. Everything about me sucks. So, it's, it's like, you, you know, a lot of people say it's, I heard, I heard this one kid. He, it's, he said it's it's how I vent. Every single post that you have, you're you're complaining. You're being kind of a little brat. I'm not gonna lie. And if you do vent, you know that that kind of stuff, which I believe you know you do need to do. But post something good once in a while. It's like does everything about you suck? <sighs> Another thing that 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 drives me insane is when people do nothing but post. It could be anything. It could be anything on the actual status. But it's just, like, every freaking five seconds. Just every five seconds, it's just the same person posting again and again. It's like, come on, get off. I do not want to see my whole wall with your freaking thumbnail on the side. This is my form of venting, right here. Bathroom pictures. know where to begin with that one now I don't know I don't really know the point in taking a bathroom pic um you know you're obviously doing it in the mirror uh, I don't know why people take pictures in the mirror I think I think it's so they can show off their camera or something the bathroom it's not so associated with taking baths or taking a crap anymore there's also peeing <laughs> Don't do stand-up. There's also taking pictures in the mirror of yourself. Or, or your friends. Okay. Okay. So you can include your friends in this. There's this one person, and she she is going to remain nameless. Um, but she has freaking bathroom pics. Whenever she has a friend over, I can just imagine the freaking conversation. Oh, let's go take a picture of my bathroom, and we'll post that junk on Facebook. What? This, this one picture, and this one, this one's common. It's it's where people do like a, like a, it's like they take a, they they bring the camera to the top of you, and I guess you look up to the camera, and and you take you take the picture like that. It's, it's, it's like a bird's eye view of your cleavage. I don't I don't really care about your boob size to be honest. I, I don't. Next one is making out pics, kissing, all that crap. You know. I am one for relationships. It's a good thing to have relationships. I don't have one, but yeah, it's good. There's there's a thin line to what happens within your relationship and what happens in face of book it. It's, it's when they go to each other's house, okay? And obviously there has to be a camera involved. I, I can I can just imagine this conversation. It's sweet kicks. Hey. Uh, you wanna, you wanna go make out in the corner? Yeah. Yes, I will make out with you. Just let me get my camera. You're up. Your camera? Well, yeah. I gotta take a picture of me kissing your face, and then I gotta get another picture of you kissing my face. Duh. Are you freaking serious? You think that drives me insane? Just, you should just see my face when people post bathroom pics of them making out. That drives me off the wall. Next is birthdays. Now Facebook is smart, okay? They know that everybody goes on Facebook. So if they set a little reminder, everybody will know when a certain person's birthday is. Which is just kind of smart. But 
nice. I don't really mind the birthday posts on walls as much as, as much as I do the other stuff, but um, it's just the bir the birthday posts. They seem kind of monotonous. You know, I, I I like to switch it up. When I post a happy birthday on somebody's wall, I try to do it. I try to you know stray away from the cliche that that run. It, it's just a waste of time. I feel sorry for the forever's birthday. It is that day because they have to scroll through a whole bunch of happy birthday exclamation point happy birthday exclamation point happy birthday period. Did they really put a period? Oh, come on, happy birthday two exclamation points. Ooh, happy birthday, Illy. <laughs> she loves me. You only turned 17 once. Oh really? I had no idea. The people who post on your wall to give you a happy birthday, it's people that you don't know. It's people that you have never met before, or that you barely know. And they're like, oh, happy birthday. It's like, what, who, who are you again? I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't remember you. This is just what, what I think about Facebook. Um, it's just super overused. Facebook is overrated. Just to, just to lay it on the line. Facebook is too much. I can't wait till I uh, rant next time about Google+.